BEA's LZR H100 provides four laser-based curtains offering a three-dimensional detection zone for accurate object detection. Its detection curtains are highly configurable and can be set up for opening, securing, and presence detection in vehicle sensing applications. In the box, you will find the LZR H100 sensor, a hex key, mounting template, a 30-foot cable, screw pack, the adjustable bracket, reference point sticker, and a user's guide provided. BEA's Universal Remote Control, part number 10 remote, is required to program the LZR H100. Please note that the LZR H100 is DC power only and that the following installation steps reference the LZR bracket accessory for instructional purposes only. It is not required for a successful installation. For optimal performance, we recommend mounting the LZR H100 40 centimeters from the ground. If needed, drill the wire passage using a quarter inch bit. With the LZR bracket accessory already in place, secure the adjustable bracket using the four screws included. Open the protection cover, plug in the connector, and position the cable in the slit. Close the protection cover firmly to ensure NEMA 4 compliance. Position the housing on the bracket and rotate the sensor until the two arrows are aligned. Cut the power cable to the desired length. Strip the wires and connect them according to the wiring diagram in the user's guide. The LZR H100 is DC power only. Connect the blue wire and blue wire with white trace to the test terminal of the controller. If there is no test terminal, tie these wires in with the power supply, blue to red and blue with white trace to black. Connect the red and black wires to the power supply. The green and white wires are associated with Relay 1 which by factory default is connected to the opening field. The white wire with black trace and green wire with white trace are associated with Relay 2, with a factory default connected to the safety field. The factory default for Relay 1 is normally open and Relay 2 is normally closed. Use the BEA Universal Remote Control to adjust relay configurations if needed. You can now power up the sensor. The blue LED indicates power, a red LED indicates detection, and a green LED indicates no detection. Activate the visible laser beams by pushing unlock and magic wand twice on the BEA Universal Remote. The visible laser beams will turn off after 15 minutes. Verify that the lateral position of the sensor is unobstructed across the lane. To adjust the lateral position, slightly turn the sensor on its axis to find the correct position. Also, verify that both the 0 degree and 90 degree beams are of equal height. If needed, adjust the tilt angle of the detection field with the hex key provided. To avoid malfunctioning, always lock the position of the mounting bracket. Based on your application, determine your mounting side and whether or not there is a reference point. This will guide you in choosing the correct remote buttons. The sensor has to learn a reference when the safety field is the only protection against contact between the vehicle and the boom. The reference can be adjusted on any type of object already present on the site, such as a wall, tree, barrier boom support, or on a post. 
Using the BEA remote control, press Unlock, Shaky Box, and numbers 1 through 4 based on your application. Before launching the safety field teach-in, make sure the area is clear of objects or debris. The field size can be configured by remote control and adapted by walking the perimeter during the teach-in. To start a teach-in, press Unlock, Magic Wand, wait for the LED to quickly flash red, and then press the number 1. The LED will flash slowly for 3 seconds and learn its environment. After approximately 30 seconds, the LED should appear green. If you walk along the detection area while the teach-in function is active, the sensor will memorize the outline of the walk path and store this as a new detection field. Once the sensor has finished the teach-in, confirm that the area around the barrier or gate is safe and that the safety field is correctly configured. If needed, you can increase or decrease the field by 10 centimeters. Press Unlock, C for Width, or D for Depth, and plus or minus. Follow the same steps as the Safety Field Teach-In. Before launching the Opening Field Teach-In, make sure the area is clear of objects or debris. The field size can be configured by remote control and adapted by walking the perimeter during the teach-in. Remember that after the teach-in, you can also increase or decrease the field by 10 centimeters as needed. To launch a teach-in, press Unlock, Magic Wand, wait for the LED to quickly flash red, and then press 2. The LED will flash slowly for 3 seconds and then learn its environment. If you walk along the detection area while the teach-in function is active, the sensor memorizes the outline of the walk path and stores this as a new detection field. Always test the positioning of the fields after adjustments are made. The LZR H100 laser-based time-of-flight sensor installation is now complete. We recommend reading the LZR H100 user's guide prior to performing an installation. The user guide contains explanations for each step and setting, as well as additional remote control adjustments and troubleshooting information. Additional mounting accessories are available from BEA, including the LZR bracket accessory, part number 10LBA, for horizontal or pole mounting applications. And the mini bracket, part number 10 mini bracket, offers an extension range of 6 to 12 inches. The BR3X, Part number 10BR3X is an advanced logic module with 13 programmable functions. BEA's UL and ULC listed power supplies include part numbers 10PS12-24 and 10PSMDR2024. Still have questions? Need support? Contact BEA's technical service team at 1-800-407-4545 or visit our website at www.beainc.com.